This is a 300 amp hour mini battery from Epoch Batteries. Now you guys know I love Epoch Batteries. That's what I'm running in this truck right now. I'm running their 460 amp hour model and it is doing a fantastic job running all of my perif peripherals in the truck. This is a 12.8 volt lithium ion phosphate 300 amp hour with Bluetooth and self heating. Self heating. My 460 as far as I know does not have self heating. It does have low temperature cutoff, low temperature charging cutoff but it does not have self-heating. I gotta double check that and see. These things are have an 11 year warranty. They're engineered in the USA, epochbatteries.com. Special shout out to those guys for sending me this battery. We're gonna do some capacity testing on this one in a different way. I'm actually do, gonna do some uh, discharge testing on it. I'm gonna hook up my 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Renogy, and I'm gonna plug up uh, some different things in this and see what this will charge. I think you're gonna be impressed with how much this will do. But I wanted to do this first part of it because I wanna show you just how little this battery is, okay? So let's take a look at this real quick. That's a 300 amp hour mini is what that is. It's the model 12300 AH right there, okay? So I'm gonna go get another one. That is the Times USB Group 31 100 amp hour battery. So check that out. A little bit longer, a little bit taller, three times the capacity. Nothing wrong with this battery. This is not a dig on this battery. I'm simply doing a size comparison here. That's all I'm doing. So 300 amp hour mini, 100 amp hour group 31 battery. <laughs> that is a Temgot 300 amp hour. I don't even know what the size of that is, what they call that. That's the regular, regular size. <laughs> It's the regular size 300 amp hour battery and that's a size comparison of those two now i will say something this one is heavier they've got the cells packed in there a different way probably different type of cells i would assume i don't exactly know what type of cells they are and someone's kind of probably come along in the comments and say well, why don't you tear the battery open and see what it looks like inside and i'm like why would i ruin a perfectly good battery like that I know Will Prowse does that, but this is not a battery teardown channel, so I'm not going to do that. But I did want to show you the size in comparison. This guy here, uh, Tim got sent me after I did the video about their 100 amp hour battery. I really like these batteries. It's got a really cool looking screen on top of it. Uh, right there. There we go. So that screen comes on. You can see all kinds of stuff. It's got 51% capacity right now. But this guy right here, you can see how much smaller it is. So if you're confined for space and you want something that is a good size, very compact and excellent, excellent quality, epochbatteries.com. I'll put any coupons, codes they have in the description below. Let's do some capacity testing on this, real, uh, some discharge testing, I should say. We're not going to do the West Mountain Radio software because they don't like these batteries for whatever reason. Nothing against the battery at all. It's just they're, they're not compatible with the West Mountain Radio capacity test software. So we're going to hook up the pure sine wave inverter to this and see what it'll handle. Stay tuned. This is my EcoFlow Delta Pro battery pack. It's a 3600 watt um, solar generator power station, whatever you want to call it. This is what I've been running my RV on for in the, the entire hunting season of 2024 and early 2025. Right now, it is powering my friend's RV trailer because mine's in the shop, as you guys might know that. <laughs> and it's at about, I'm going to pull the app up here. It's around 32% capacity right there. And it's taking in about 1,700 uh, watts, 1.71 kilowatts. And it says that at the current rate, it'll be charged in like 1.49 hours. Uh, an hour, 49 minutes, sorry. Hour, 49 minutes, it'll be charged. And it is all running, charging from the Epoch 300 amp hour battery because it claims a 200 amp continuous charge and discharge charge. And when I pull up the Epoch Batteries Bluetooth app right here, it's showing it is outputting about 165 amps to charge this uh, EcoFlow Delta Pro right now. And it's coming through the uh, the Renogy 3000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter that I've got. This is a great inverter. Really enjoy using this on testing stuff like I'm doing. So we're going from DC through an inverter spitting out AC to charge AC 
into a battery that does both AC and DC. <laughs> so it's not very efficient. This is not what you'd want to do unless you were just in a pinch somewhere, unless you were just in an emergency somewhere. But I wanted to test, and this is this thing's not even at capacity. I wanted to test this continuous, this 200 amp continuous discharge. And that's exactly what this is doing right now. This has got the, uh, the Epoch battery right now is at 12.3 volts, charging at 167.3 amps. Uh, the meter keeps changing a little bit. It's got a 43% capacity on it, and there's not a time left on it right there. It doesn't really tell me how long it's got. This, it says discharge time down there at the bottom, but it's, it's zeroed out. So we're not seeing an actual dis discharge time. So at 43%, 300 amp hour battery at 43%, it's roughly got about 129 amps left to give right now, which will allow it to charge for about another 45 minutes, roughly. So it's not going to fully charge the EcoFlow, but it's also not fully charged itself. The continuous disc charge is what I was wanting to test. And that looks really, really good. Special thanks to Epoch Batteries for sending me this. You see it does have self-heating also. So if you're in a cold environment, it's going to heat itself. So stay tuned, and we're going to put this on the capacity test. 